We gymmed, we trained our arms today. My legs still hurt from when we did legs a couple of days ago. So, you know, like when you haven't been for ages and when you first go back, everything hurts. Oh, like way more. That's how it is today. So my plan is today, go home. So my plan is today, go home, get ready, finish off a few tiny little video bits I need to just and send off. And then I need to go into town because it's my sister's birthday tomorrow and I've already got her some presents. I need to get a gift bag, however, and some things to like decorate the gift bag, like tinsely shit. And I need to get her, oh, my phone's ringing, who's this? Oh, oh, that's so nice. So I just got a phone call from my management to tell me that they really liked uh, my one of the videos I sent off yesterday and that's made my day. Anyway, so yeah, I need, oh, we've got some people canoeing down the river. I just love Norwich spring, summer. You need to come visit in the, in the warmer seasons because it's just such a beautiful city. Yeah, I need to go in the city and just get a few bits for Haley's birthday present to make it perfect. I also need to get myself some little bits like it's really boring, but some more socks. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, and then I'm gonna go see Connor, my babes. I love this song. Great big pile of leaves are like my spring summer music, driving around. So many bags it's not because i bought lots of stuff i just bought cushions i went to primark and got some cushions and some duvets for duvet covers for my spare room but they just take up so much space and carrying them around town is not nice so i'm just bringing them back to the car and then i'm going to quickly pop and finish what i need to get My car just did a weird thing. I don't know what, what it did just then. I just went to go like that to put my car park ticket out. I dropped it. So I opened the door to pick it up. But then my car was just cut out. I couldn't turn it on again. My cars behind me were bibbing and stuff. I mean, well, clearly there's something wrong because I ain't moving forward, you dickhead. It took me a while though. I had to put my hazards on. I couldn't work out why it wouldn't start again. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Sometimes having a car that's really high tech isn't always the best way because like, when you just do things manually, you just know what you're doing. When it's all high tech, you're like, what? Why would it work? <laughs> I'm, eating, I'm eating kale crisps from Brett. Connor, we didn't really write anything. We did, we got, wrote some ideas down. I normally, he normally like plays loads of shit on his guitar and then I'll record it on my phone and then like I'll go away with it and see what I can make of it. Sometimes we'll just, a song will just come out like that and we're like, woo! But other times 
I don't think he was really sure what he wanted to play. But like in the last five minutes, he played something really, really awesome. And I was like, right, this is it. But I need to go now because <laughs> I've run out of time on my parking. I nipped into home base on the way home and I got some of these. These are fence panel paint. And I want to paint our fences in our garden because I don't want them to be brown. I'm gonna test it out. Here are the colours. That's a no-no. But we've got slate grey, a duck egg kind of colour, and then this lavender. Obviously it's getting dark now, so you can't really see it. So I'm gonna have to wait until tomorrow to see which one looks the best. You might be a bit like, whoa there, Helen, but today I bought with my business account. Again, I feel, always feel the need to justify things I buy, like, not just to you, but to myself. I bought an iPad Pro, yeah, wow, big expense, and a pen. I know that I could probably have just got a graphics tablet and did, like, handwritten things, um, but I wanted an iPad, which I can take with me places, so I don't have to keep lugging my laptop around. And I've been thinking about it for ages, and I want the Apple Pen so I can do like illustrated stuff like text and graphics and stuff on my videos. And I also just, I just fucking wanted an iPad. Matt's got one, oh, I want one. I'm just now setting it up. I got it in, in rose gold and it's the app iPad Pro. I'm gonna use it for putting movies on and um, some music. That's pretty exciting. It's been on my, like, on my mind for ages. So I thought, <laughs> sometimes I'm just like, I just need to go do it. Otherwise I won't ever do it. Zach's, which is like a, a restaurant in Norwich that's kind of well known, isn't it? Yeah. You'd say. And we've been many a time. Been around for a while. Yes, yeah, been around for bloody eight, like years and years and years and years. We've been many a times, we've been on many dates on there. I've been with friends. It's just like a place where people Easy. go. Easy, you know, Food. but tonight. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm so disappointed. Yeah. Zach's is like a go to place where, you know, it's no. Well, I didn't have any problem with my food, but the I had, service was pony. I had what I normally have, and it was. I looked at it and I was like, "This is this what I ordered?" And then I checked. I was like, "Yeah, it is, but it was nowhere as good as it used to be." And the service was really. The waitresses were nice, but they were just a bit. Um, they they just left. They just us. left they us. us. Even I had it was empty. like I had one drink. Bear, bear, the food. We ordered our drinks, and the drinks took ages, and then they came, and then like two minutes later, the food <laughs> came. So I was like, "This is weird," and they didn't ask us if we wanted any more drinks, even though my drink was empty, glass was empty. And then uh, they asked us if we wanted dessert. They never came back to ask us for the order. For the order, they like go for the bill. Yeah, could have just walked out there. I know, literally could have walked out and not paid. Um, I was really disappointed and sad, especially as it was almost like a. Oh, I don't know, it just weren't worth it. Just stayed at home and cooked something. Yeah, but it's weekend now, so weekend time. Yay. Hey friends. Saturday, I'm going to find Ellie. We're going to the garden centre. I'm going to the garden centre again today. I need to pick up some more roses and I might get another big pot and something to go in it. And I'm going to ask them about getting trees delivered because I want some palm trees. I've got Ellie's prezzies from New Orleans in here. In a world of cold beer in my hand, life is good today. Hey, yo! Hey, hey yo! Oh, you look like spring! Thank you. You look well nice. Are oh, you listening to the Zach Brown band? That's amazing. Yeah, I know. I mean, to take that bag. Oh, this is for you. Oh my gosh, is it? Open. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's so cool. That's so cool. Oh. When you went there, I was at Zoe's that day. Yeah. And I'd said to her, um, because she was like, Oh, I see her. Helen's in New Orleans, and I was like, Yeah. And I was like, I really want to, like, my bucket list places to eat is Café de Monde. Yeah, <laughs> well, you said that. Because I really wanted to eat the beignets. Yeah. 
And then like I saw your photo and I was like, no way, she's there! Yeah! Is this like some voodoo queen? It's a voodoo doll. It's got a black pin and a white pin. That's so good. His cool. feathers come out though. That's alright, I can stick him on. Mm. Me and Ellie got some more plants. I got some more plants. We got these. More roses. A Dylan. tree. Dylan the tree. Some of these starter bulb things. Big old pot. Some more roses. Got to put it in the car. Woo! Oh, that was close. Oh, <laughs> Come on. Might have to put some seats down. Oh, yes. I took Ellie home. Now I'm with this one. He's buying wood. Put a side door for me. You have to pop a tug at them. And then move them silver, little silver steps out of the way. Don't, you can't have to help me with that. Take the little plants and put them on the little leopard skin. We're heading out for my sister's birthday. It's her birthday today. We're going to see Beauty and the Beast and then some probably having some drinkies and some food afterwards, but we're running late. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Oh my god, look at this dessert. Hello, hello, hello. We've been for food. It was good. Did you like it? Matthew. Yeah. Got a little tin of buns baked for us. Oh, so my sister made these cakes. They're actually really cute. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, nice. Party rings Party. on. I'm gonna give my feedback on Beauty and the Beast. Now, right. Um, contrary to my uh, mo my controversial opinion. Does that make sense? Okay, so before I was like, oh, it's going to be rubbish. I wasn't looking forward to it because I just wasn't really happy with the casting choice for Belle. Personally, I don't really think that Emma Watson is the best actress in the world. And also because I know it's really unfair to like say it's Hermione because she's probably like, oh, I'm so over that now. But I kind of think they should have used an actress that wasn't, that didn't already have such a name for themselves or... If you know what I'm saying, like they should have used an actress that was kind of new or up and coming because I, I don't know, I just, I, I don't see Belle, I just see Emma Watson. That's just me personally. Anyway, so I was a bit like, about seeing it. However, I kind of saw past that when I was watching it and it was amazing. It was so good. I welled up like three times, like overwhelmed with emotion because I was like, oh my God. I think I just, I saw past the Emma Watson thing. I was like, just get over it. And I think I felt quite emotional because it, it's weird to see like, well, and I think I find that with like most, with Disney just generally that I grew up watching all those movies and would watch them repeatedly like over the years. And so in a way you're so kind of emotionally invested in those films because you grew up with them and it was such a big part of your life that to see it again, but in a different way, like, well, a remake of it, and done so well, that it's kind of overwhelming. I'm probably gonna be a massive mess when I watch the new Lion King movie, because Lion King's like my favorite film. But yeah, I thought it was really good. And my, my negative opinion on the film has been turned around. I'm glad though, because I was, a bit nervous that it was going to be terrible. From the previews and stuff, I was like, oh my God. I also don't understand why there were so many people making a fuss about the fact that there was a gay subplot. I was like, there wasn't a gay subplot, really. It was just, um, what's Gaston's mate called? Le Fou. Le Fou. Basically, he obviously fancied Gaston. And it was like, so? <laughs> like, I don't think they made a big deal out of it. Like, in the movie, it wasn't like, oh. Gay. He's just clearly has a bit of a crush on Gaston. So it wasn't even a huge part of the movie. So whoever made a big deal about it just needs to get a life because it's not even a big deal. And then we went for a glass of Prosecco at a bar and then we went for Italian food and I had an incredible dessert. But we're back now, it's really super late. It's 
evening has just gone on, not gone on, it makes me sound like I haven't enjoyed it. It's just been a you know, long, long evening. Yeah.